Hi everyone, this is Robert, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough through my system and the room. And the idea is that I'd love to hear from you what I can improve on, um, what I should experiment with, and so on. So first of all, I'm in the listening position now. The distance from my ear to the tweeter is 12 feet, or 3.6 meters, and the speakers are 3 meters apart measured tweeter to tweeter. Now this is a living room so I have a coffee table and I put two pillows there when I'm seriously listening. And also my curtain here. Normally that goes all the way to the right there but when I'm listening I have have not connected this to the end of the curtain rail so I can very easily just drag this along the window panes here. And um, this helps, it's very thick velvety uh, curtain fabric so that definitely helps cushion the first reflections a bit. Then in the center what you see is a diffuser. This is from Art Novian. It's uh, six individual pieces that um, I sort of stuck together. One row of three, one row of three here. You can pick it up and just put it anywhere. They're three, uh, two feet by two feet, 60 by 60 cm and it really helps clear up the entire image and sound stage precision. It really gives you a, this feeling that every instrument and every voice is more accurate placed in the sound stage. And the reason I have that, and it's not permanent, is because this is where my TV is. It's a 77 inch flat screen, very glossy surface. You don't want that in the center on your front wall. You're definitely going to you know, sacrifice uh, quality there. Then here is my rear wall. This is something I built myself, and it's just a wooden frame with uh, nine millimeter acoustic panels, which I've wrapped in fabric, which is the same fabric as my curtains and other things here in the house to make it look nice, to make it match. Then I have two diffusers here. They're two feet, 60 cm wide each, six feet tall, one meter is 80. There's two, one is at a slight angle here. Again, this is placed behind the speaker, as you can see, and it also helps distribute, disperse, and diffuse the sound. Then the platform here in the console, this is all marble. Um, this, this platform weighs 30 kilos, 66 pounds. It's solid marble and it rests on sorbothane footers, hemispheres. Same goes for the other side, obviously. This also, the centerpiece, is resting on sorbothane footers. And actually, this console is hollow. I can't show you, but just imagine that from the rear you can enter or access that space. In there is my rune nucleus. Next to it is my deck, which is a Mola Mola Tembaki. And then next to that is a mains filter, a Puritan 156, something I can recommend everyone. Then the equipment here, the Essence preamplifier, the Essence mono blocks, and then we have the speaker cables and other cables all from Triode Wire Labs. As you can see from the United States, and it's uh, sort of bi-wired. This is uh, going all the way here. It's not fully bi-wired because I got two sets of binding posts here, but I'm uh, using only one. What you see here is a power supply for the speakers, the Focal Stella Utopia, because this woofer needs power. It's not an active speakers, speaker. There's no amplification inside. However, this woofer is electromagnetic. That means it's not a big lump of metal in there that's a passive magnet. The magnetism is actually generated through electricity. So it's an active magnet, if you will. It's very powerful and uh, creates fantastic, fantastic bass, I can tell you that. Then, um, the rear. Here, the rear wall. I also have the diffusers, the same as in the front. These are just small, these are just uh, four feet tall. The center one is six feet tall. I thought I wanted to put 
you know, a nice centerpiece there, but I thought, why not just make it diffusers? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it may help the sound a little bit because obviously still in a living room environment and I'm trying to, you know, make the best trade-offs that I can think of. Um, thought of treating the ceiling. As you can see, there's side wall there basically, but it's glass windows. I try to counter that with the curtain that I can move. There I only have, you know, nine feet of side wall and then the whole thing opens up to a kitchen and to a study area here and a hallway over there. So I don't really have side walls here. And also the side wall on that side is pretty far away. So it's quite an open space. Um, another thing I want to show you is these footers, the isoacoustics uh, Gaia or Titan uh, Reyes. And um, this is a bit of an exception. I read so many good reviews from users, from customers. If you go to Amazon, I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, four and a half and five star reviews. The uh, reviewers on YouTube were unanimously very excited about these footers. Uh, offline, online publications reviewing this and um, I also saw YouTube videos doing A-B tests where you can clearly hear the difference as was the case here. Those A-B videos, they were done with Focal speakers too, by the way. So my soundstage went from a little collapsed, I'd say, to wide and open. It was a very, very noticeable difference. I won't go back to spikes and um, it also tightened up the bass. So it's a mystery why speakers like this don't come with something like that out of the factory, you know, just as an OEM footer. Uh, there's a huge improvement from the spikes uh, upgraded to these isoacoustics. Uh, also has to do with your subfloor, etc. I won't go into that. Finishing up this video, guys, I want to ask you, what do you think I could do to improve? What do you think I can try, experiment with? Just for your information, these speakers used to be back, uh, used to be in the room for about nine feet, two meters and 70 centimeters, but I pushed them back a little closer to the wall. They're about six and a half feet or 1.9 meters away from the front wall. It gives me more density, more weight, uh, definitely an improvement. They were too far out in the room and this is just the right balance for now. So guys, let me know what should I do. Give me your remarks, give me your suggestions and take care. Goodbye.